namaste to all in this short audio we will see the next three shlokas of isha upanishad and this is my sixth video on isha upanishad if you have not seen my previous five videos please go through it i have made in the last 10 days and in this three shlokas also we have extremely deep knowledge about life about mrityu about amritam etc and also as i have told most of the isha upanishad matches with the last chapter of ajur veda so these three shlokas which we are going to see today also is there in the last chapter of ajur veda the first mantra the first shloka today is andan tamah pravishanti ye asambhutim upasate tato bhuya ibate tamu yavu sambhutyang ratah andan tamah pravishanti those people enter into darkness ye asambhutim upasate one who upasate means one who worships one who worships the asambhuti asambhuti means there are two meanings one is prakriti how do you worship prakriti you cannot worship prakriti so the inner meaning of asambhuti mupasate is those people who are extremely involved in finding out from where this universe is evolved how the universe got created what happened many people say big bang some people say string theory some people say some other theory some people say universe was not created it exists eternally so those people who are behind the roots of the universe creation one who is trying to find the asambhuti from which this universe got created upasate means actually they worship they are indulged in the advancement of science like a worship so those people will enter into darkness darkness means where one cannot get any knowledge they cannot get any knowledge about almighty god that is called as darkness they cannot get any knowledge about the purpose of life they will take birth they will eat sleep and do their research and then they will die off and the next yoni they will be born as a lion tiger etc in animal yoni and they will enter into darkness in the animal yoni you cannot have any knowledge you cannot get any knowledge you cannot gain any knowledge so here the rishi says those people who are worshiping the asambhuti that means indulged in finding out the root cause of the universe creation they will surely enter into darkness tato bhuya ivate tamo more than them further darkness these people enter who are yavu sambhutyangratah one who is indulged in the sambhuti from asambhuti sambhuti is created asambhuti means prakriti sambhuti means the universe so those people will enter into further darkness who are totally spending their time in this universe they want to enjoy life they want to go outside see the world enjoy the nature binding attachment love romance party dinner or sadness happiness all kinds of emotion they want to go through or they go through in the life but they do not want to understand who is experiencing the emotion who is the one who is creating this how he created this what is the purpose of my life i am not bothered about all those things i want to fully enjoy my life i want to get up in the morning i want to enjoy my weekends i i will go to work come back from work i want to save money earn money i want to go to tour i want to get into romance relationship boyfriend girlfriend marriage kids this is my life they live a life like an animal like ahar nidra bhaya maitunya that means they eat they sleep they reproduce children and then they fear death that's it just like an animal animal cannot go into to- tours and enjoyments romance etc but these people will do it extra other than that they do not have any inclination towards the purpose of life why somebody is suffering why we are happy how we are experiencing happiness who is experiencing happiness these things are not their subject so those people will enter into further darkness darkness than the one who is doing 
asambhuti upasate then the one who is doing the scientific research of universe creation so rishi says in the next shloka anya devahu hu sambhavad anya dahu rasambhavad iti shushruma dhiranam yena stada vich chakshire but however rishi says sambhavat and asambhava that is sambhuti and asambhuti has got some other meaning the purpose of sambhuti the purpose of asambhuti is not the one what we are thinking 99% of the public is thinking for ahar nidra bhaya maitunya but the real purpose of this creation is something else anya anya ahuhu this the reason the real purpose of sambhuti asambhuti is something else we must understand that how do we understand deva by going to devas by going to rishi munis why because dhiranam they are dhir purush they are samadhis they are realized atmas and when we go and listen to them about what is the purpose of my life how do i advance in materialism how do i advance in spiritualism what is materialism what is spiritualism how this universe gets created what is the meaning of creation if we go and ask dhir purush who has realized the themselves and almighty god they will clearly explain to us they will not say that this universe is for enjoyment they will not say that this life is for attachment love relationship romance sleeping eating drinking reproducing they will not say that they will say some other thing what is that anya deva who they, they will tell some other thing and that some other thing will nas tada vich chakshire if you understand that some other thing from that rishi is you will not have any further doubt in your life you will be fully cle- cleared of all your doubts you will not get into attachments because of attachment you will not enter into sadness you will not enter into misery you will not enter into pains you will not experience life as your you know as a pain and you will not enter into further darkness after this life by going to acharyas who are dhir purush so the next verse what is that they will tell what is the something else they will tell is mentioned in the next shloka that is the 14th shloka of isha upanishad here the rishi says sambhutim cha vinasham cha yastad vedo bhayam sah vinashen amrityum tirtva sambhutyam mrutam ashnute so when we go to yogis when we go to acharyas rishi muni tapasvis they will tell about sambhuti they will tell about sambhuti means creation they will tell see creation has happened you are you have taken birth from your mother's womb so you are already created now that means your body is existing so what got created has to get vinash vinash means destruction so those rishi muni tapasvis they will speak about creation and destruction they will not tell that this creation is for sensual enjoyment they will say that you have taken birth you will anyway die one day so you must get vairagya in life you will anyway pass away one day and that one day can be any time soon we do not know based on your karmas you may live 100 years or 20 years we do not know so purpose of creation is not to enjoy sensual pleasures the purpose of creation is to know who you are the purpose of creation is to know who that creator is and you are not the creator you are separate creator is separate and you have taken birth please understand vinasham there will be destruction we can say that this is my hand this is my body this is my mother this is my father even if we say this is my body i am not the body this is my body if we carefully observe our body itself is not ours because the elements with which the body is made proton electron atom nucleus small small quanta particles they were existing at before my birth after i have taken birth they are existing in my body form so rishi will say vinasham understand the destruction process your body is made of panchabhutas at the time of death you will not die your body will get decayed because you will escape from the body you are separate you are something separate so your body will get destroyed into 
again go back to atoms electrons protons and this atoms electron proton will form another body later on by the power of almighty god so once you understand that whatever got created will have to get destroyed creation is combination of atoms proton electrons quanta particles destruction is disintegration of this creation destruction is disintegration of quanta particles into their original form so this sambhuti creation and vinash is a process which will happen again and again so the rishi will say sambhutim cha vinasham understand both the creation and destruction together cha means understand it parallelly if you understand that destruction along with creation parallelly you will not get attached to your body you will not get attached to your relatives body you will not get attachment into boyfriend girlfriend my wife my son my daughter etc because you know your wife your son your daughter bodies got created they will get destroyed so i should not get attached to that which is going to get destroyed and what is destruction destruction is change of form from ga- gross it will go into subtle from the body it will go into sukshm quanta particles this is the definition of destruction that you will understand from those rishi munis so sambhutim cha vinasham cha yastad vedo ubha ubhayo means both you must understand parallelly and we will understand by listening to the preach of dhir purush by by listening to the preach of rishi muni yogi tapasvis then what will happen vinashena mrityum the moment you understand the process of destruction you will not get attached to any but anything else slowly slowly you will start a vairagya you will start a detachment in your life and because of that detachment you will understand what is meant by death you will understand the process of death and you will overcome the fear of death vinashena mrityum tirtva tirtva means to overcome you will understand that the process of destruction is eternal just like the process of creation is eternal destruction also is eternal and when creation happens destruction also is unavoidable so you will overcome the fear of death vinashena mrityum tirtva sambhutyam amritam ashnute so what you will do sambhuti means creation you will start utilizing the creation properly you will start utilizing your human body to know who you are you will know that your body is given by god for a specific purpose it is not for me to enjoy the sensual pleasure it is not for me to do romance and go to tour see sightseeing and waste my time it is given for me for knowing who i am so you will utilize sambhuti sambhutyam you will utilize your creation whatever facility you have in your house whatever is created articles your house your bed your table your chair your human body you will utilize it properly to know who you are you will not have attachment with anyone anything anybody but you will do moral deeds because you ha- you will understand everything from dhir purush a dhir purush will not ask you to leave your moral deeds he will inspire you to do more moral deeds he will tell that don't get attached to it but you must do your you must not get attached to your wife or son or kid but you must do your moral deeds you must be like a good husband you must take care of your kids you must feed them properly and you must also educate them properly you will do all your moral deeds but you will not get attached in them so without attachment what will happen slowly slowly you will become vairagyavan and after vairagya you will attain samadhi amritam amritam means realization of almighty god realization of self that means you will realize that i am not the body whatever you have listened from your acharya of dhir purush you will realize one day that you are jivatma and this inside this jivatma is almighty god who is creating this universe so what a wonderful creation now how he created from sambhuti you will understand that that sorry from asambhuti asambhuti means prakriti you will understand that prakriti is the root cause of the creation and from prakriti god creates the universe and prakriti is jad so your body is jad prakriti is jad so your son's body daughter's body husband wife body husband body parents all bodies are jad i was so so 
long attached with the body but that body itself is a jad padarth is non alive matter so i must so you will realize all those whatever you have read from your acharya you are listen from your acharya you will realize by utilizing this creation sambhutyam you will use your body to do sadhana you will use your body to do tapasya you will use your human body to do worship of almighty god every day by worshiping almighty god by utilizing this creation properly amritam ashnute you will realize amrit you will realize that almighty god and you will also realize that you are jivatma this is the secret of these three shlokas thank you so much namaste om